911, what are you reporting? That killer got in the news. I think he's in my house. Have you seen what he looks like? Yeah, the, the mask with the black eyes and red mouth kind of like the Joker. All right. Can I get an address? For Fisher Lane, Clawfield. And your name? Rowan Selkirk. Okay. And where are you? I'm upstairs in my room. Are you armed? No. That's okay. I'll get help on the way. Are you with anyone? Yeah, my parents, but they got... They got killed. Do you know where the intruder is right now? Dad says, I think, on the other side of the house. Can I get a description of the house? White, two stories, uh, a brown roof. How many cars are at the front? Two. 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 I think he's going to find me. You're doing very well, Rowan. You say he might find you. Is there a way to get out of the house safely? The front door. Okay. If he can, find something to protect you with and try to leave. I'll let the officers know that you'll be waiting outside. I'll stay on the phone with you until you get out and are hidden safely. <laughs> okay. Thank you. One son, a school tutor, both parents a nurses, one daughter in college, loving parents, father is a gardener, mother is a dentist. Good morning, Pa. 
Hallsville, I'm Penny Waters. Today we are faced with another tragic death of two families in their quiet neighborhoods. Last night, the Selkirk and Mackenzie family were in their peaceful homes when, according to investigation, the power was abruptly cut and the serial killer broke in and attacked them. The mysterious murderer escaped before the police arrived at the scene, and this time, it seems that the culprit has picked two groups to murder in one night, rather than just one. The police are currently working hard to search for evidence, and they continue to track down the culprit, who we hope has not taken any other poor innocent lives as we speak. Follow-up reports will be addressed when more information of both the families and the malicious killer is gathered. In regards to the protection of others, we ask you to be aware of a six-foot-tall person wearing a mask that displays similarities to the all-time favorite villain, Joker, who roams late at night. If you see anything suspicious or know anything about the culprit on the loose, please call the emergency landline. May the Selkirk and Mackenzie family and the previous victims rest in peace. May any friends, peers or family members find joy after their periods of grieving. And may the fearful ones find some lingering hope in these dark times, even as the masked killer lurks in the shadows. One day, soon enough, we will be able to continue our lives without fear, and they will no longer be able to prey upon us all. Morning, Miza. Good morning, Joanne. Oh, my God. Didn't get any sleep last night. Barely. The article for this new scandal is destroying me. <laughs> Did you find any hot celebrity gossip, though? Eh, a little bit. Oh, and you. How's that new research going? Not too bad. And this is your... Third one. Nice. Huh. I think you're doing well after only being here for, like, what, five months? Thanks. Have you heard of the new murders last night? No, I'm afraid I haven't. Gee, it's scary. All from that one serial killer. I wonder how Owen does it. Wouldn't it get depressing sometimes? Beats me. I only do political articles. Hmm, good point. Robinson, can you come to my office for a moment? Yeah, sure. So, I got some temporary changes for you. Oh, and our investigative journalist is currently unavailable to write this new article I have from Red Hand. Seems like that other one is taking him longer than expected over in Australia. I needed him to write about the masked killer, but, well, he's not here. That's unfortunate to hear, sir. What will be done about the new article? That is where you come in. I want you to write it. Me? That's not... Exactly my field of research and writing, not to mention that I've only started here not too long ago. Are you sure you want me to write it? Well, most certainly. I've seen the way you write. Very intriguing, I must say. And I think it will be a nice fit for this new burning topic. Plus, it will give you some experience. Do you have any problems with that? No, no. I can write it. What was that all about? I've got that bloody killer case to write about now. Oh my god, I jinxed you. 
I'm so sorry. What else did he say? Well, he said he'll give me a raise. I also have to talk to this Miles guy to get some sources. Miles. Oh, yeah, Miles, that guy. He works with Owen to make his articles. Owen says he's weird. Great, I'm assigned a violent serial killer case and my partner is a loony. Just point me in his direction so I can get this over with. Hmm. I think he works down the other side of the floor, closer to the basement. Not really sure though. But wait, that's him right now. Excelled in music studies. Writes articles in the newspaper. Keeps the window open at night. Painted oil canvases on the side. Bright red streaks. Can I help you? Uh, um. Our boss has given me an investigative article to do because Owen is still working on his other one. Oh, what a shame uh, that Owen is still away. That project he has is a tough nut to crack. Oh, I see. Well, it's about that new killer. The new killer. You're a miser, is that right? Oh. Yes, forgive my manners. I'm Amiza Robinson. I'm Miles, Miles Bennett. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Um. Hey, would you like to get a coffee or something? Just so we can sit down and talk for a bit? Casually? All right, let's go.
Hey, what can I get for you two? Hi, can I get a regular cappuccino, please, for Miza? Miles? I'll get a small hot chocolate, thanks. For Miles. Sure thing, that'll be ready soon. A hot chocolate? Caffeine makes me lightheaded. Does it? Wow, I'm jealous. I think I'm addicted to it. If I don't have one, I get a massive headache. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you take Advil, Tylenol, or does that not work? Nope, it doesn't. Sounds like withdrawal. How unfortunate. When was the last time you had caffeine? My first day at the office. I met Owen and he offered me some coffee. After I had it, I nearly fainted. <gasps> really? I never knew caffeine could have that kind of effect. I guess you could say I'm one of the unlucky ones out there. Unlucky? I wouldn't say that. Caffeine can be bad for Minor you. side effects can be bypassed if you consume a healthy amount. It would certainly be worth it to me. <laughs> if you don't consume more than 400 milligrams of caffeine, you're fine. Oh. Very... <clears throat> interesting. Um. Miza and Miles? All right, that will just be 12.50 for the two. Okay, thank you. Enjoy. Thanks. So, investigative journalism, how's that done? It's all about finding the truth behind a topic or event. So you begin with finding sources for that topic or event, then you try to discover something in them followed by finding more information to make it all ink up to uncover one big scandal. Normally, Harry doesn't give me a known an assignment like this. Most of ours are about international conflicts and such. Perhaps it's because there aren't a lot of serial killers as infamous as the mask killer. Perhaps. Do you mind if I ask you something? It's just... It feels... Unsettling. This whole report. It's such a grim topic. Of course, we get some here and there, but... This... The tragedies of all those families being printed on the faces of papers where taking their losses and dramatizing them for profit. I can see your perspective. However, there's an audience out there we need to please those who enjoy the tougher nuts. We, the investigators, do the cracking for them. I guess all I'm trying to say is, welcome to journalism. Uh, right, okay. Sorry, I didn't intend to degrade your field of work. Mm. So, Miles, what made you want to be part of the investigative department? I find interest in the details of the research and facts I gather, and there is a sense of achievement I get once I can see the full picture. What do you like about political journalism? Well, I... How do you know I do political? <laughs> An investigator is only as good as his observation. Ah, uh, of course. I want to take part in setting things right in the world in any way I can. And I think that media and journalism is a major influencer in discussing political matters. So, here I am. You're certain you'll be able to write this report? Oh, um, yeah. Yes, I believe I can do it. It seems out of your field. <laughs> Listen. Harry asked me to do this report, and the mask killer is plastered, highlighted in center at every station I see. I don't know how I feel ethically profiting from this story, but hey, these cases come with the job. I might not be as specialized as you, but that's why we're working as a team. Let's just try to make the most of it. Well, it was nice getting to know you, Miles. We can talk about this report more tomorrow. I'll see you then.
just get this bunch, please? Yes, of course. That'll be $15. Okay, just one second. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I know I'm back sooner than usual. Well, it's just... I have something really, really challenging to do, and it's a lot. So I'm asking for you to give me strength through this. <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? You die from one of those maniacs, and now here I am, reporting on one. You never got your justice. Well, I guess now here's my time to help those who still have that chance. 